So we're leaving right now. We're going to the Niners game. Uh, oh, okay. Madison's first game. She's so excited. Oh, look, I want to wear a jersey. She's got Kittle. I got Kittle. Mon- I got man. the good old Montana on. Throw some dimes maybe. Or they call me out to the field. Brought my pads. They're in the back just in case. Oh. And I also brought my football helmet. But I think I'd look better if I had the gold on. We're leaving right now. But afterwards, we're going to go to our favorite Korean barbecue it's place. It's a secret place. It's a we secret place. We're guys. not going to tell you guys. It's just we gotta gatekeep because it's already getting too busy there. It's looking at Hot Boys Gatekeep. <laughs> Hot Boys Gatekeep, guys. That's why I'm gatekeeping. No, but uh no the place is super good. It's my favorite Korean barbecue. I my favorite restaurant ever. It's so good. We go we love going to San Francisco, so every single time we're in San Fran, we always gotta hit up the good old spot. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you about this. So, oh, I want to tell you guys a story about how we figured this place out. It's actually kind of funny, kind of stupid, kind of crazy. Uh, so we went one time when we first started talking with when I first started talking with Madison. We went two over there with my friends. With two of her friends, it was like a last minute trip, whatever. And we went. We stayed in SF. We got there pretty late. It was like one a.m. and I was starving. And they were they were yeah, kind we were of all hungry, but we were just like so exhausted. We're like, can we please just get something like fast, like. But we didn't want the fast food, so we were like just trying to figure that out, and like. Yeah. Plus, I like. I'm being irritated. Yeah, I wanted like good food too, cause uh, I mean, my man, I gotta eat, you know. And McDonald's wouldn't. Come no, in. but they were all they were all like tired and sleeping, and, like starting to fall asleep. So I felt bad that everyone had to get up just for me to go get food. But I was really hungry. Okay, but I was hungry too, though. You gotta remember that. Yeah, but you were sleeping. Like, I was like, no, I was like tired, but I was starving, but I was like more tired. So, like, that weighted out. Yeah, I wanted food really badly. They were upset that we had to go because of me. But they all pulled through and they all went. But, like, I felt bad because, like, I I told them too before I left. I was like, you guys can stay if you want. Like, I can drive myself. But But all of them were like, we're not gonna let you go by yourself, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you guys just met me. I was like, I was like, let me go. No. Anyways, we ended up going um, to this place, right? Because I was like, I looked, I was looking up food places. I was starving, right? They, this is a place that didn't DoorDash, but it sounded so good, though. It was Korean barbecue, and they said it closed at 4 a.m. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, no way. And I was thinking, like, oh, my God, this is probably going to be the shittiest food I've ever no, we had. we didn't have high expectations. I remember that. We were just like, honestly, like, we don't care what this tastes like. It could be the equivalent to McDonald's. We were just so hungry. Yeah. And was, you were starving, too. You I was so I know. I was so hungry. And then when we got there, the part that made my expectations even lower were that none of the furniture match. It freaking, was, like, a tiny, like, closet-sized restaurant. It was like, yeah, it was a like closet-sized restaurant. Like, it, every, Which most of San Francisco is. Yeah, but, but, like, it looked so bad. Like like none of the ma- none of the chairs match. Mm-hmm. The freaking tables didn't match. The chairs that did like the booths things they had like the, all the booths had like holes in them and there was just duct tape over them like mm-hmm. holding them together. So I was like, oh, this. But like the smell. Like I remember walking in and it being super small and like everything not matching. Yeah. But like the smell of the food and like seeing it on people's tables. I just was like, you know what, this is going to be so good. Like, I just knew. Like, I the tables didn't even matter to me. I was like, whatever. Sweet but, like, pass. the smell. What was this? You farted. Look at Sorry guys, Madison's farting again. No, but no, but it was so good. It was like when I got it, I was like, I was like, man, it's gonna be all right, but whatever. But it ended up being so fucking good. It was amazing. It was literally the best food I've ever had. I was like, am I being punked? I was like, it's Gordon Ramsay in the back. Come on, bring him out, bring him it was out. Amazing. Like it was food, so good. When I tell you, I was like smelling it, and my mouth was watering, and I literally just ate it. Like took my first bite, and my mouth was just watering because it was so. Amazing. My mouth is water so just thinking about it. Yeah, literally, look. <laughs> no, but yeah, we're to head over to the game right now, and you already know afterwards we're to get some hot dogs because oh, they always got the little street too. hot dogs with the bacon, a little bit of onions. It's gonna go good. It's gonna be good. This is Madison's first game. Wish her luck. See the experience hit. Hopefully, it's fun. I'm kind of nervous, actually. I don't know why. I know, but. Like, what if I, they ask me to go on the field? Yeah, they would ask you to go <laughs> on the field. Yeah. All what right. if I win something? And I have to go on the field and like talk on the microphone and the t- like, with TV, I'd be mortified. Absolutely mortified. <laughs> Guys, we weren't even dating yet and we went on our first like weekend trip. Or it wasn't even the weekend. It was like an overnight trip to San Francisco and we weren't even dating yet. Yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah, no. <laughs> let me tell you something. Oh so Madison God. wanted to date me so bad. No, she it's l- not even that. Don't no. even get it twisted. Don't even get it twisted. <laughs> we were basically dating. 
I was like, I knew his entire, fa- well, most of your family, and you knew most of my family. We would see each other every single day. We would go on so many dates. Every, like, all of our friends were just like, oh, yeah, Madison and Andy, okay, okay. Like, they knew us, but we weren't, like, together officially. And it pissed me off because I was like, just ask me out already. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, I don't understand. Like, it got me kind of thinking, like, it's a little suspicious that you didn't want to, like, ask me out, but I don't know. Well, what I wasn't getting to, I said she wanted me to date me, date her so bad. Now, what ask her out? This this girl oh literally asked me out herself. I did. She's like, I did. Could I you, admit that. Like, do you want to go out with me? I said, no. He said right away, no, I don't. Like, who the hell says no? <laughs> but now, like, this is the reason I'm broke because I decided. I said I agreed to date her. <laughs> oh my God. I agreed to date her. And freaking Christmas the 25th, her birthday is the 27th. Mm-hmm, two days after. Our freaking anniversary is February 2nd, and then Valentine's is February 14th. So I'm like, okay, well I guess we're screwed over these what three months. Mm-hmm. I'm like, don't yeah. I, I'm like, ain't nobody asked me to go out. And then, and then the rest of the year is like. And then it's just your birthday in August. Like, we don't have any other, like, milestones. No, but, yeah, this is the reason no, I'm No, he's going to make What's me up? seem like right. I'm this, like, weirdo or something. I wanted to ask you out because we were practically dating. You guys heard that. So, right? because of that <laughs> reason, I'm not going to propose to her until she proposes to me first. I'm going to be like, no. Oh, heck no. No, I'm not proposing But the to crazy you. coincidence is that I have this tattoo, right? My favorite number is two. We started dating two, 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 two. Yeah, look at that. He so did that on purpose. He, his lucky number is two, and he purposely, like, asked me out on February 2nd. Uh, no. I was yes. going to ask her out on yes. Valentine's Day. You know what this girl told me? She told me, ask me out on Valentine's Day, and I'll say no. True story. I, w- I don't know. It just made me feel weird. Like, I feel like that's like a... Sorry if anybody, if anybody else has an anniversary on Valentine's Day. It just makes me think of high school for some reason, because I'm pretty sure that, like, I had one of, like, my good friends, and they had, like... a anniversary on valentine's day like that sounds so like i don't know original original no nah, i'm kidding no it's cute and all but i just wanted like a special day also uh so funny too because we went to the i don't know i just thought about this right now because i want to add this like vintage because it's freaking funny we went to the bar yesterday and oh it was oh my gosh it was karaoke night at that bar and it was like the weirdest bar ever but uh, it was like such a dive bar like it was the definition of a dive bar small cheap drinks all oh, the drinks are cheap everybody looks nice. basically the same everyone looks related <laughs> yeah no but no we went it was karaoke night i was already there so like i was like hey come on i'll do it and our good friends julia and jordan were there they're mm-hmm. a couple and uh i want to add this video in just because it's funny this man was scared at first to go up there to no, he's his... not scared. He was mortified. He was mortified. He literally was like, no, I'm not doing it. And then what kind of got him into doing it was obviously Andy nagging him. But <laughs> we were like, oh, no, they can bring the microphone over here and you can sit down. It's fine. Which nobody does that. But, like, we just kept telling him that to make him feel better. And then, like, when he went up there with Andy, Andy was, like, hyped up. Like, he's going to be the freaking star of the show going in front of everybody. Oh. Jordan started singing. And I, I became the backup dancer. And he was the backup dancer. And he was the backup dancer. Jordan point. basically pushed Andy, not literally, but pushed him and was, like, singing. He was walking around, talking to, like, singing to people, hugging people. Like, it was And then he wrote hilarious. his name down again to go again. He wrote down his name. And yeah. this man was, like, and he told me, he's, like, hey, for the next song, I didn't really hear you. I got to make sure to hear you this time. And I was, like, I was, like, excuse me? I was, like, yeah. I was like, damn, they must have turned off my microphone then since you were the star. But it no, it so was it was funny. funny. But <laughs> so I want to add that clip so you guys watch this clip, it's gonna be funny. Roll the tape. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the 
to head over now to San Fran. We'll get back to y'all later. It's still really early in the morning. As you guys can tell, it's still dark. Yeah. Plus, it's been raining a lot, and it's been gloomy. We're so. trying to get, like, a head start to the day. Yep. We're both exhausted, but I'm yeah. still so excited for my first game. I know. It's going to be nice. I mean, it is a right now, there's a little bit of traffic, so probably a three-hour drive. It's, what is it, like, 7 a.m. right now, so it's still, like, light out. But we're going to go drop off our dog at her mom's house, and then we're going to go get some breakfast, charge the car, and then we're going to head over. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see you guys there, all Stay right? Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Madison's first game. Kittle. What does that name? Is it Kittle? That's Kittle. 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 Tight end. Tight end. Oh, tight end. Best in the league, baby. Best in the league. Who we made it. Let's go. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, so we just finished. Walk. We just walked to the car back from the game. How it's was your first there. experience? Crazy. Honestly, I didn't think the stadium was gonna be that freaking big. Like, I walked in. Like, when we were walking up, I was like, see the stadium. I'm like, there's no way it's that freaking big. And like, when you're like sitting there, it's way bigger than like a baseball. I think like baseball like field. Mm-hmm. And like, obviously basketball too. But like, it was insane. It was. It was cool. But it was so fun. All right. Well, we're about to go to our secret spot that you guys aren't allowed to know because mm-hmm. Hot Boys Gatekeep. So we're going to go get some Korean barbecue. And go to a hotel. Yeah. We're staying in San Fran, so we'll, we'll, you guys will come with us. Well, but the people next to us were getting a little mad at us because we moved seats. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? We because we okay, get there, we move seats, and oh we like gosh. it's all good. Like our seats were good. We were in a good spot. Like, like this guy, like Lord Farquhar, looking <laughs> motherfucker, kept on like getting in the like, way, standing and like jumping I'm up like, I'm like, during like the weirdest times. It wouldn't even be like an important thing. It'd be like the national anthem, not not the national anthem. Nobody does. <laughs> what <laughs> you're supposed to stand up for? That. I'm sorry, sorry, but it would be like the very. <laughs> <laughs> at random times like he stood up for the national anthem what an okay, asshole okay okay that was really bad you guys i stand up for the national anthem i'm sorry <laughs> i do but he was like standing up during like i don't even know what was going on like i'm pretty sure just a little tv thing was going off and he was standing like i don't understand but anyways the reason why we moved over so we were in the same row but we moved over like i think like two spots because the entire row was basically empty so we're like why not why can't we just move there's no reason so then like when it started to get a little bit busier like more packed the people in those seats started showing up and we're like oh great and it was like kind of embarrassing we didn't want to go back to our original seat all right guys well we just finished charging our car so we're to head on over to our spot we'll catch up with you guys when we get there mm-hmm. Mwah. Well, guys, we made it to our, our hotel room. Good news and bad news. Good news is that we're staying in San Fran after all. Uh, we we're almost about to go home because the hotel, we literally, our reservation got lost. So that's great. So we literally looked everywhere for a freaking hotel. We could not find it because shout out to JP Morgan, the freaking business company thing, for, Chase or Chase Bank, whatever it's called, for coming into town today and tomorrow so every hotel is literally either booked out or their prices are so overpriced right now it's actually insane because we were literally like looking at hotels and they had a a standard king bed room for 12 grand and i was like 
who the fuck is gonna pay that shit? Like, oh wait, JP Morgan might. But yeah, so we ended up getting this cool like this like hotel that's like kinda weird. It's kinda like a kinda like gives you like like a hostel vibe. There's no one on the front desk. And when we pulled up to our hotel, there's a sign outside the door that said, Call this number to be let in. And I was like, What? And then he let us in and then it's really really weird but like he let us in and afterwards he had us like navigate us through the phone like to come find our room then we had to, he had to give us a code to get our freaking room open all right guys so we're about to go to our secret place we're to walk there but it's raining but it's all good we got love to keep us warm right there so right now making our way to our place guys we're to walk and turn off the camera just because it's raining don't want to get it wet so we'll see you guys when we get there so be there shortly but at least we're in our city now I don't know where might get robbed husband. we're here finally excited? I'm so excited <laughs> told you guys doesn't disappoint look how freaking gorgeous this food is all right, we'll catch up with you guys after we finish digging in. All right, guys, so it's actually the next morning. We didn't end up recording anything else after the food. We just we went to mad. bed. Because we went straight to bed because it was pouring, too. Yeah, and we were mad because we couldn't go to the hotel. I know. So right now, we're just going to get some coffee. Ew. We're at Phil's. I'm exhausted. Massa needs her coffee on. One thing about me is I drink coffee every single morning, so... And she never finishes it. I always finish There's it. always cups around the house. Okay, when it's cold, I can't. You know that. <laughs> they warm it back up. No. I don't like to. <laughs> so we're probably just going to grab yeah. coffee real quick. And then afterwards, we'll walk around for a little bit before we head home. Walking around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy how empty it is. Oh. There's like two people here yeah. in the whole place. There's a ton of kids. I know, I'm like, don't you guys have school? <laughs> I mean, then again, we should be at school too. Yeah. But we'll move here soon. Mm -hmm. Also, the Science Museum. It's California Academy of Sciences. Yeah. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> oh, but I thought that kid was by herself. So right, I was like, who's kid is that? <laughs> um, someone left their kid here? Dude, I think it is by herself. I think that kid is by himself. Who the fuck walks that far away from their no, kid? No, it walks right there. Oh. I was like, I was like, who the hell walks away that far? Dude, she's literally like 20 feet in front of the kid. I know. That kid's like two. I know. <laughs> this, that thing is still in diapers. <laughs> oh, she's saying hurry up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hurry up. Funny story, yesterday when we were leaving uh, that restaurant that we're gatekeeping because Hot Boys gatekeep, it was so weird because like, Literally, a guy pulled up, so there was, it was raining. It was so cold, and some girl was walking by, right? She had nothing but an umbrella oh, and wow. short shorts and, like, a tank top. So you're like, what the fuck? Isn't she cold? And it ended up being one of those ladies that, you know, you I pay you pay to have a good time. And there was literally a transaction happening right in front of us as we were walking. In the middle of the rain. Like in the middle of this rain. This man pulled morning. up. This guy pulled up in the freaking, like, he looked gross, too, in the car. And we're like, pulled up. Didn't even bother parking. The motherfucker was in the middle of the street. Yeah. And he called her over. He, like, beeped at her. First, she looked like she was my age. So I was like, oh, God. So obviously, when I see, like, a girl by herself in a city, especially, I'm always kind of like, oh, like, just kind of watching to make sure everything's okay. So then, like, I thought it was, like, maybe, like, an Uber driver or something, and she was trying to find, like, the driver. Like, that's where, that's what I thought at first. But then, like, I heard her say something like, It's going to be $200. Oh, it's going to be $200. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh. I was, I was like, oh. And she wasn't, like, wasn't shaky in her voice at all. She was like, yeah, it's going to be, like, $200. Like, I was like, what the hell? And I was like, wow. And I was I've like, never, like. Well, that just happened. I was yeah. like, as we were walking. In the walking, rain. Like, it, like. Like, I was, we've seen that before, but, like, first off, it's freezing, it's raining, everyone has umbrellas, and then right after that, like, what, a few cars down, we see then a van, and I was like, oh, God, please don't tell me, and then Andy's like, I think that's what you think it is, and I'm like, okay. It's his pits are pimp. <laughs> I was like, that is insane. Like, I, Gotta love the city, guys. Gotta love the city. But yeah, so the ocean, though, look how pretty it is today. I know. 
I don't know what this area is called, but... It's called something... Oh, look, and look, look out. out. <gasps> this is so pretty. There's even more buildings down here? Oh, you can go farther down. What is that? It's a lookout. No, is there water in there? Oh my god, it's leaking in there. Should we go down there? Well, that's kind of cool, actually. I'll do it. That's a lot of stairs. We want to walk all the way down there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I can see a good view from here. What do you, what is that though? Like why is it like broken and stuff? I don't know. Oh you can go over there too, look watch. Yeah, fuck that. Oh look, there's boats out there. Oh yeah, there is boats. It's cool. Pretty. 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 Alright, let's go back up. <laughs> That's enough nature for the day. All right, guys, just made it back to the car. We're going to go ahead and end the video like this because we're about to head home. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching all the way. Uh, Friday, look out for that q and A. It's going to be coming out. I'm going to post on my story for you guys to send over some questions in case you guys ha have anything you guys want to know of me or Madison or both of us. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.